hello guys so in this video I'm gonna discuss about information extraction from a given HTML page so information extraction is also called as information retrieval right so this is gonna be a series of videos where I'm going to discuss about the following topics basically the problem definition and how well we can formulate it and how well you know you can generate the training site so that your machine learning model or deep learning model that you're gonna build would work fine and finally we can able to extract any kind of information from any kind of web pages right so less in this kind of video I'll be sticking into only text related data that means from a given web page how well you know you can extract text data that is something you know which you're gonna study in this series of videos so let's get into the formulation and before you know going to the problem definition and all i think i know most of the people are familiar with the html you know just for the sake of completion let's look into the what is html and how it looks like okay just be with me for a few minutes so this is how a, you know a html uh, document would look like basically you know these are called html and it starts with the html head basically these are called tags okay so you start with the HTML and end with the HTML. So if you are going to end with the HTML, we're going to say that friend slash, right? This is the opening of the uh, tag and this is the closing of the tag. Similarly, we have head, body, and I think paragraph, div tag, we have like lot of lot of HTML tag, right? Using which we can able to design the web page. So there is no restrictions or there is no strict rules that you have to write the code in specific way, right? You may use like h1 tag, right? Or paragraph tag. You may use any other tag to write the uh, uh, title or write the text, right? There is no hard rule saying that you have to use paragraph if you are writing a sentence. There is no such hard rule, right? Similarly, it goes for images, I think everywhere, right? I think exceptionally images, I think we have an image tag. But generally speaking, we don't have any hard rules for the text related data, right? So um, this is how it looks like. Um, HTML, I think this is a simple one. Uh, this is a heading and H1, I think we have like H1, H2, H3, etc. Right, as in, you know, uh, let's try to change it. I will change it to head to H2 tags and when I try it, it not decreases, right? So similarly, if you try for H3, A4, it keeps on decreasing. I know, I know these are like a very trivial information. So similarly for the paragraph tag. So these are the very trivial information. I assume that you are well versed it. So maybe if you want to, you know, go more about that, you may refer to w3schools.com website, right? So let's get into the problem, right? Um, so I have just taken you know, care health insurance contactors page so let's assume this is the problem in hand okay you want to give us a URL you have in hand and uh, you have to extract the address or the contact details of the company that is the care health insurance right how will you extract it so that is the question in hand so the problem is you know of course if there is only one website something like carehealthurance.com definitely we can do something like you know uh, we can rule based on right so i'll just take an example here um, uh, i'll just use the developer tools of chrome and as you can see here i'll just mouse over it here and this is under dev tag especially under h2 tag and under the span tag we have something called you know care health insurance blah 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 here right basically this is the address right care health insurance is the company and address comes the next one unit uh, <laughs> number four i think again it's a, a due tag paragraph and then we here we have right so now you know if you want to extract the <coughs> this address from a gift server it is very straightforward right because uh, you you know that you need to go to h2 tag and then the div tag where the class is you know of the generator container and this is the get the text out of it right this is how you would directly go and get the information so let's see how well we can do it oh yeah so for this kind of you know uh, for this session I'll be using Python, especially I'm using Jupyter Notebook. And uh, if you uh, just to mention the libraries, I'll be using the Beautiful Soap. So uh, let me Google about Beautiful Soap. 
yeah i think i am using beautiful so just to pass the html which you get out of the you know the website which you going to use right so you think you may refer the documentation this is a really really brilliant work so i'm just going to use that library to pass our html and get the required information so here i think i have already done my work here this is the care health insurance uh, you know the exact url i have given here and uh, with the making of uh, help of with the help of beautiful soap i have passed the html contents and taken the soap updates basically you know i have uh, you know i could able to extract the address right so you may surprise like why i am able to you know get it right could be a section right so i think this is if you come here and able to right div tag and this is ubl section right right basically you are able to select the whole sentence and there is need not be one way i think there are like many many various ways using which you can able to extract the content out of a given website right so right now you know this is one such way so obviously you, you might you know find some other ways there is nothing right or wrong but this is one such way which i found out you might think you may also do many other ways okay uh this problem can be solved to many other ways so the main challenge is here we know the information that okay this particular host is using cubl.section right as a class right so let's take an another example which is a star health insurance and uh, let's see how you know how they are trying to you know uh you know uh, place the address right so my job is to extract the given address extract the address from a given website that is the question in hand so we know how to extract from care health insurance and let's see how to extract the address from the another website that is star health insurance right? so i'll just you know you making use of the developer tools i'll just mouse over it and here you go so this is something which you need to extract right jss file now i got to know which class is that okay now and again right jss file i think jss 783 i have used let's see why have you 783 okay i just you know took an a parental of it which is jss 7883 just to cover the uh, whole of the contact details including the email address okay so here i am again making use of beautiful soap with the help of div i know that you know the contact address would be in div tag and it has a class called jss 73 jss 783 and other information i know it using which I can able to get the address out of it. All right. Now the problem is, how can you design a system or how can you design a model which should extract address from any given URL if it is all present, right? So it need uh, for just for the example, I have taken address. It could be anything, right? For example, I think we have something called like uh, what is this contact details where this is a toll free number. Even if you come to here, I think they would also have given some toll free number, right? Maybe if you have one or two website, you may go and do the hard coding thing. This is very, I think, very easy, right? For these two websites as well. But think about this scenario where you have, you know, thousands or lakhs or millions of websites, URLs, I mean, where your job is to go and get the address or let's say toll free number or whatever it is, email ID is mentioned or whatever it is. How would you do that to the programming, right? This is where machine learning helps us, right? You want, I think, yeah, before going to machine learning, so obviously few of the things can be solved through regular expression, right? Some things like, you no, know, or, or we can come up with a regular expression where you can able to recognize the, let's say email ID or let's say phone number, right? These are the things we can definitely uh, use regular expression to get the <laughs> required information out of a given web page. But something like text, which is generic in nature, which is very bit difficult, right? Even if you want to extract a pin code from a given website, that is also very, very tricky, right? So, you know, uh, this is the problem, you know, just to put it in simple words, right? Given any URL, how will you extract a specific information from URL? right so that you know the code has to work for almost of all the website and you cannot hard code it because you cannot scale it right of course for 10 websites you can do it as i was mentioning if the number of website increases or the number of URLs increases it will become very tedious task right 
so now you know uh, i will be you know showing how well you can you know uh, solve this problem using some of the tools which i am going to show in the next videos thank you